Good day, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to this, attending the Set Labs uh, Hydro Boat 990 launch. My name is Andy. So today we're going to talk about the Set Lab uh, Hydro Boat 990, which is Android pow powered uh, USB system. All right. For a start, you probably you were asked, you know, um, a conventional setup for how do you do a measurement of water depth usually. All right, it normally comes with a lot of uh, equipment to, to set up. So you look at a laptop, which is essential. Um, connection, connectivity or bandwidth, you know, for communication. Then you go next goes to controller, followed by the workhorse, which is the USB. And then you need the workbench and obviously power is essential. So, so from here, how can we make this happen in a more efficient way? Like said, that has came up with this proposition of reducing the equipment by the way of a controller, all right, by the way of controller, a USB, and a manpower. That's about it. Okay, now as we go, the big slide. Let's just come up with this. Uh, Slogan efficiency in every echo. Okay, that's the primary slogan for the launch of this campaign on the Hydroboat 990. I will have I'll push on to the next slide, which is tells you about more sensors that can be interfaced. Okay. All right, looking at the sensors interface, it has abundance of it. You know, primarily we start off with the GNSS. All right, with the accuracy of uh, you know plus minus eight millimeter and plus one ppm RMS, and it has a zero point two degrees at one meter baseline. Next, we have the obstacle avoidance as well. Um, you look at it, you know the you need this obstacle avoidance for you know hazards in front of you. So <clears throat> it has a distance range of five to thirty meters, and then a horizontal angle of 90 degrees and vertical 14 degrees. It's coupled up with a transducer, echo, single beam echo sounding transducer at 200 kilohertz, measuring a depth of, you know, from a range of 0 0.15 meters to 200 meters. Right. Um, control box, it definitely have a control box. It comes with a highly integrated control system, uh, which is also, you know, interesting to say it has INS integrated in it. Now the camera. Uh, it's the main thing for you know for the point of view POV we normally call it has a real-time video streaming of 1080p um, images in that format okay and then obviously the battery can last 10 hours with the USB traveling at 1.5 meters per second okay next slide you will see the, the system integration on the internal side okay Right, as you can see, the slides here, you know, it has two, um, this whip antennas, okay, a control box inside it, the camera which is on top, and then the, the front front obstacle avoidance sensor, okay, all right, and then the battery compartment, yeah, and GNSS integrated in all the vehicle itself. Next slide. I'll show you on the smart controller. Right, as we come with coming to the smart controller section, it has a very large seven inch large screen integrated in it. All right, and then the eight core processor. Um, the controller is able to do a transmission range of 2000 meters or two kilometers. All right, send and receive. Okay, battery life is definitely at 10 hours or below. Okay, and it's operated on a Android platform. All right. Next slide, I will give you an overview of the, the controller box and you can see what it has on the software. On the software, if you can see, it's a well-defined workflow. And you see, and then you have the mission planning. Okay, and then the data acquisition or data collection. You can see there's an echo, echogram right below for the for the transducer. 
the pinks and then give out the result and it has a water column in in it okay so one quick connection as you see it's toggled by probably a what you call um joystick okay and then also potentially you know to just click with a click on the touch screen you can do the, the configuration as well look at it uh, here we're sharing you on the end what we have in front of you on this slide is about mission planning um, it has the cap capabilities of uh, points picking on a dxf map which is you know drawing exchange format also he has a automatic cost generation and real-time adaptation All right um as, as you as mentioned you know from the previous one with the usb now you can see on the controller itself there's the sector plotting already plot out in front of you and then you can do your 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 automatic cost generation from there okay and then with that you know you can control the intervals of the angle how you want to do your your plotting and sector scan and you control also from there and then the bacrimetic system okay it has a high accuracy real-time display and automatic mode in automatic mode same thing, the battery system applies on the controller itself, as you can see. So, moving off the echogram, all right, it's moving, you see, as you go along, along the, uh, the, the sector scan. What we have here is the IS module incorporated on the USB. I'll explain in the next slide on the INS module. On this, INS module slide. What you can say is like it's highly accurate uh, attitude data acquisition and automotive grade version. Now what we say is automatic automatic grade because there is a functionality that's been used on the autonomous land vehicles that is tested in China and um, it's proprietary uh, equipment so that's why it's incorporated in this USB. As you can see the module has all the component that made up this INS module include INS, data processing unit, power, the chips, the band, base band chips also, and the flash drive and the DDR. What we see here is the obstacle avoidance slide, which has a millimeter wave radar that can detect uh, hazards in front of the USB. And you know, it has a range of five to 30 meters range with a horizontal angle of 90 degrees and vertical angle of 14 degrees. Here is the optical avoiders in action. Like we talk about the remote control redundancy, you know, of course, you know, you have the connectivity of it is you have going through or going via the Wi-Fi bridge, the 4G mobile connection, the limitless range, and also I can only uh, happy to say also this system is 5G ready, all right, for the mobile network. Right, data logging redundancy can be done to log online and also on board, that's a, which has a 32 gig memory, okay. Not forgetting that also the controller can be, you know, can call has an option of using a SD card to to record your or, or collect data logging also as a backup. Okay. Now going forward with the power system. All right. Now this is designed in such a way that is using jet propulsion instead of the conventional um, propeller. All right, because you know. It comes up with um, many research and develop that you know the propeller standard propeller system it could be a hazard in such a way that affect the 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 uh, sailing of the um, USV due to you know fishing line entanglements or water plants you know during the course of its route 
Okay, so with this jet propulsion system, it is detachable and it can be, you know, picked if there's something really jammed up, is you can just take it out and, and easily be detachable from there. On this slide, you can see the, the USB traveling at a speed of 6 meters per second. For the USB to be sailing smoothly, the hull design has been you know, manufactured in an M-shaped bottom, um, also a streamlined design. Also. So it does not have too much what we call rock and roll while you know, doing a sector scan. In that is where the USB Hydroboat 990 in action. As you can see on this slide, it's mentioned no fear of danger. Um, the materials of the hull is basically of uh, strong grade uh, carbon fiber or Kevlar, some, some people call it. It's in IP67 uh, waterproofing standards, double hull, and it has anti collision and wear resistant uh, rubberized uh, side fenders basically on the side itself. Um, this unit is tested, you know, uh, in a, in a workshop or manufacturing during manufacturing phase, or it comes out into production to prove that it's to prove its durability. Um, that's that's what we mentioned: efficiency in every echo. Number one, you know, you look at usability. Okay, it has a one versatile app single app, time saving on when turning on, and also at the sur survey mode, okay? Well, you need um, a network, but without any base station. That's the uniqueness of it. It can be integrated with GNSS and as single beam echo sounding. And there's connection like indicator lights to say, you know, to tell you whether it's connected or not connected, okay? On the functionality, um, it's stable, okay? and has is avoid collision and obstacles um, also you talk about real-time video patrol you know the the camera is of 360 view all right but normally you know it's just looking at the front which is about 150 degrees point of view it is also 4g remote control remotely control um, there is an option there is a option for op auto reverse in shallow waters when you talk about reliability, of course, you know, just, just as I mentioned, it has a double hull um, make, uh, make your design in IP67, anti-collision and wear. Also, it meets up with IHO standards. Um, the INS is of, of uh, automotive grade, okay? Now, we'll move on to the next slide where you will see on the specs of it, the data sheet. Very straightforward, I guess, you know, this is what mostly people are after. The vehicle specs, the software. Okay, the next slide will tell you more. Then we have the controller, all right, which is Android based and IP67 also, seven inch um, display unit on the screen. All right, then you have the options on navigation mode, whether it's manual or autopilot. Alright, then you also mentioned about the GNSS performance, alright, in RTK, in DGNSS position accuracy, single point position, and also the end of, end of it all, the data sheet is the single beam echo sounding specs. You know, you have a depth range of 0.15 meters to 200 meters at the frequency of 200 kilohertz. Alright. Now, um, with that being said, you know, I would like to conclude that this equipment is launched um, effectively from the 21st March. So if there is any interest or there is any questions, clarification, technically, always happy to uh, let us know at Set Lab. Yeah, and let us know and let's keep in communication. And we definitely, you know, be more than happy to answer to your queries.
Okay, with that being said, thank you very much and have a good day. Live Hydro Boat 990 USV. Efficiency in every echo.